Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Callisto Protocol here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. So in the previous episode we finally experienced what this game offers when it comes to the boss battles and I gotta say it's extremely disappointing. Not only did I struggle to figure out the mechanics in retrospective now that I think about it, while I was on the platform that was moving from the original colony towards wherever I ended up and I was ambushed by the first boss, the big problem which I did was that I assumed that if I keep shooting it, that should logically kill it. But whenever the boss just kneeled down on one foot or one knee, I should have approached it and smashed it with the stun baton so that it would like rip apart one part of its body and then I would just shoot the remaining HP out of the remaining infected, I guess. But because I just kept shooting at it, I ended up depleting the entire ammunition which I was accumulating for quite the long time. So not really that amazing and considering the fact that if you throw in multiple enemies simultaneously like with the second boss battle when another infected was throwing in itself and you were trying to either move aside dodge one attack the boss was able to smash into you and effectively like reduce one third to one half of your HP making the boss battle just a total loop of a total freaking nightmare so when it comes to the boss battles I so far have to say that for love of god I really hope that there's gonna be something different because I looked up a few things in reference to this and I saw some content creators making fun out of the combat in this game about just being able to dodge for like half an hour literally someone had a video of just dodging the attacks for half an hour by smashing A and D on their keyboard and that was the entire boss battle before they actually started fighting back so uh, coming from like Resident Evil 4 into this, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, <laughs> not living up to the price tag of 60 bucks, but uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna see how things are gonna turn out. So we got actually separated and uh, we're gonna try to find our way and hopefully we'll be able to leave this godforsaken place. I do have to say one thing which I still kind of find interesting is the concept that the grip of the weapon which you have is what you are able to utilize in order to exchange a whole bunch of weapons but it also makes it kind of a freaking nightmare when it comes to combat because you have to keep rotating in between the weapons and therefore if you're trying to dodge the attacks or something and you don't manage to do the animation along with trying to heal yourself which you have to go down to one knee inject the serum in your neck and it's just horrible so uh, we're, we're gonna try to have fun despite all this see how things are gonna work out i'm really hoping i will be able to take a look at the uh, alternate fire for the basic pistol because i was able to upgrade it and it costs like 1800 credits so I really hope that it's not going to be something that's going to be not shown. That would make me kind of upset. So yeah, I have to kind of take a look at my inventory as is. So we have two battery refills. We have three med kits. We have some shotgun shells. And I have absolutely zero idea what the heck that item is. Okay, so CPU printer, I'll be able to sell that, so we will be able to get potentially an upgrade. Uh, passive stun emitter so that the officer will take less damage when blocking. Uh, interesting. Uh, tactical pistol, the damage. Yeah, sure, let's upgrade it, because ever since I picked it up, I have been primarily getting ammunition for this thing, so I don't know it's just because the it's the newest thing in my arsenal. But whatever damage I can do or increase, then I'll definitely go for it. 
I can increase even the magazine size and the magazine size in this game is kind of really important because it really helps you to make sure that you are able to keep shooting longer as you really don't want to keep engaging too many enemies in melee simultaneously so 2700 yeah that's quite the expensive upgrade so i think i'll hold on to the credits which i was able to pick up and it seems like the cursor has slightly changed so we're gonna see i don't know if the game wants me to continue with the stealth The thing is, these enemies which we are running into right now, they're able to see. So these are not the blind ones. So they're able to like charge at me and... Dude, you cannot soak up the entire freaking magazine. Come on. Skunk gun. Okay, I can work with that. But yeah, despite the slight upgrade in damage. Some of these enemies are just able to soak in those rounds. Yeah, this guy is trying to mutate on me. Yeah, I'm really not in the mood for that. The upper level, Jacob. Look for the clinic. Will I be able to just literally bypass these knuckleheads? Okay, that's quite a lot of them. And they are mutating into the higher form. So now I'm just literally stuck in between them. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna work out. I was pulled away from one by another one. Yep. Yeah. This can end up quite bad. I have zero ammo. I need to heal. I said I need to heal. And I'm dead. Yeah. Loving it. <sighs> this is gonna be frustrating. Make a selection. Oh my god, do I have to go through the upgrades and everything again? No! Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep repeating this. That's just Choose swell. Item. Because this is the safe system, apparently. Ah, uh, damn it. I know I could have tried to pull one and like push him out with the grab. But, uh, increases launch strength, removing safeties. Ah, uh, sure, let's try it. 
I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'll still go for the upgrade for the damage on the tactical knucklehead. Unauthorized use of this print will be noted on your work record. I think I can live with that considering you that I have passed or missed few shifts. Okay. So the damage is upgraded, however, this thing this big guy is just gonna soak it up. Oh, come on. I don't know if I take care of them down here, if it's just gonna be easier for me upstairs. The upper level, Jacob. Look for the clinic. Well, they're gonna be dropping down no matter what the hell I do. That was just not effective. Wasn't there one more? As I have still zero freaking idea how much battery do I have left. I think there were two of them up here. You, you cannot be serious. So, so I shot through two of them okay um, i'm just gonna again stop commenting until i get through another frustrating sequence and uh oh man this is just really frustrating complete Wait for print to complete. And the worst thing is you cannot even skip these animations or nothing. You just have to wait through it. I don't know, maybe I can try to do a manual save. Now even this stuff on the bench is no longer here. I'm confused right now. Okay. Gotta find a ladder. Let's go, you knucklehead. Yeah, man. Come to the spikes. Really not in the mood. Thank you. The upper level, Jacob. Look for the clinic. Okay, so at least two of those knuckleheads here. Okay, that's one. One more. I'm not really sure if right now it's recharging or what's going on. But okay. Well, you're not gonna give me any loot? That's rude. Uh. So I really don't know right now why is Jacob's back so freaking blurry? 
And if I should literally go and use one of the battery recharges. So I've tried a different tactic. I literally drop one of them down to the lower floor. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, come on, where the hell did you come from? And now, have to medicate. Better give me some freaking ammo. Hand cannon. Don't know how much ammunition do I need in order to be able to trigger the secondary fire on this thing. You're getting closer. Really? The problem is because I have already here. I don't think I can come across any more medication or anything. And because there's no cursor or whatever indication to tell me where the hell to go. Through I can here. get lost. Quick. That was close. That was dumb. I cannot sell anything and to honestly give me two of these so close to one another uh med kit is 500 so i'm kind of screwed on that ammo capacity is 900 i cannot afford that uh i guess i'll have to go and do with what i have and that's not really that great people live down here yeah well didn't have much of a choice Some still down. is there anything in here i definitely heard and infected but i also see something valuable pristine decoder i can literally walk back and sell it so that it does not occupy space in my inventory since he gave me two armories one after another and yeah this is a little bit more convenient because you both sell and buy things and upgrade things in one place compared to that space where you need to go to the shop in order to sell stuff or buy stuff and unlocks new heavier attack ideal for extreme situation requiring damage over control i'm not really sure however how to Notify trigger these the freaking attacks i'm just trying to upgrade the stun baton because it's something which i rely upon quite heavily even though i'm not really thrilled about it but i don't have a choice 2700 yeah 900 further increases launch strength uh target can be grievously injured including limb loss noise the problem with that is uh i'm not really sure what limb do they need to lose press the middle mouse button to perform a heavy melee okay I'll take your word for it. Probably forget about the controls in a minute or two. Is it weird that I've been watching boys lately and now I want to call her Kimiko because I forgot what's her name? Wait. Is that dome? It wasn't there before. No. Not back then. It used to be the mineshaft. 
Up to the surface. Why would they cover it? Don't know. But we have to cut through there to get back to the surface. Is there an outhouse by this place? I don't think I would be able to, you know, take a dump in peace knowing that there's some shady dome behind me. Okay, screw it, let's go inside, see what's gonna crawl out of the hole and attack us. Whoa. Ammo, supplies. Greetings. I am Dr. Caitlin Marler, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Arcus Station. We're excited to share with you our findings. The culmination of decades of research. Who's she talking to? Not us. I'm gonna download what I can from here. Meet you inside the dome. Oh, sure, because that's gonna be a smart idea. Go in. It began with a distress call. A mysterious contagion spreading on Callisto. The symptomology was intriguing, yet physical. Okay, so... And are these, like, plants? Where the hell did they get this stuff? The hell is that thing? understand the disease, we could re-engineer it to unlock the secret of the Paramo Yeah, that's like trying to mess with the Zerg infection or something. After securing the site, a lab was constructed, and later a prison surrounding it. A research base with a readily available pool of test subjects. That's why Black Iron was built. He told it some kind of an experiment. Oh, sure, human experimentation. After decades of searching, the prize is finally within our grasp. The source, where it all began. A bold new chapter for our project. Via Solitaire. I never know what I'll use as a thumbnail for the video, but I'm kind of regretting not taking a photo of the dome. I was kind of distracted by that outhouse. What can I tell you? Well, the water here is not frozen. What the fuck? by the miners when they broke through to Callisto's subsurface ocean. It was dead by the time we arrived, killed by security forces. But inside the carcass, we found them. thousands of larvae, primary disease vectors for the biophage pathogen. We collected specimens and transported them to our central lab on Europa. The pathogen acted as an evolutionary accelerant mutating the colonists into little more than mindless brutes. Save for one, the so-called Subject Zero. Somehow able to reap the benefits of the contagion, greater strength, endurance, and longevity, while preserving their intellect and humanity. Though killed by security forces during the outbreak, the body was transported to the Black Eye Lab, forming the basis such program. Oh, God. Five, two, one. You maybe got some unfinished business. Here is like, cannot really 
actually heal. Didn't make it back. I'm dead. Yeah. The problem here is there's no chance in hell I'll be able to heal. I just need to learn the sequence of the attacks, okay. This is gonna be fun. Okay. That platform will take us up to the surface. Uh, am I to expect a whole bunch of infected to be dropping onto the platform as well? The thing is, I don't know how I would protect her if she can fight the infected and. I just don't see any drops of anything here. Oh, we made it. Danny? Danny! God, I just hope that the footage is gonna be okay. Oh, fudge. Tower. There's gotta be a way to reverse this! You don't know that! No, I don't. But we're not gonna give up now. We're gonna finish this thing together. Okay? Okay. Come on. Come on. Up. Good? Need that. 
this. Okay. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay, there's an audio log. I don't recognize this area. Where are we? Let's find out. Dutch coal. My patience is at an end, Muller. It's been close to six months. But we're close to understanding the biophase, to harnessing it. I just need more time. No. What happened on Europa was a tragedy. Was a revelation. Okay, I don't know if that's the warden. Uh, that sounds like one delusional SOB. Skunk gun. Now I'm trying to pick up the ammo. Not really sure why it's giving me everything else. Try to reload what I can. UJC printing at your service. Okay, so I have 1000 stability for skunk gun would be greatly increased, but I would need to sell something and I'm not really comfortable selling the med kits or the one Skunk gun ammo that I do possess. God, I really hope that the footage is gonna be okay because the screen on OBS is looking like hell. I guess I will find out! <laughs> Assault rifle schematic. Prison's running on autopilot. Systems are all shot to hell. I'm actually shocked that this place is still running. Wait, I just came from here and now it's locked? Why the hell wouldn't you give me the assault rifle schematic before the door's locked then? Can we make it to him? Looks like it. I'm getting the door now. Woof. The hell happened to this place? Thank God I took her out of there before whatever this has happened. CPU printer, noise. Man, seriously, with that look, some sort of death metal singer, he can totally pull it off. Ah, oh, shit. To yourselves. Okay. Where the hell did that second robot came from? Tower. Wait, I thought we destroyed the tower. Circle. Daddy, can you hear me? Daddy? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Right back where I started. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Uh, Find me. Waller? There's not much time. I was able to reroute one of the security units. I have Danny. Where is she? The lab, at the heart of the prison. He's monitoring everything, but we can talk here. I can get you to the warden. I can cure her. I want to help. You? You put this thing in my neck, and now you want to help. Please, you must hurry. Find me, Jacob. How? There's a room ahead that connects to an area normally off limits to both inmates and guards. Find it, and I'll clear the way from here. 
Okay, now I have zero idea if I'm supposed to be sneaky sneaky again. This game throws the stealth all over the damn place. I'm opening the way ahead. Oh, thank you. What am I supposed to use? Seriously, what are these robots running on? Windows Vista? They left you with all the weapons. I mean, you can try shooting out the damn lock for an idea. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to see how much this assault rifle thing is going to cost. You see, th this is why I'm still wondering why the hell did you take off the helmet? If you would have kept it, that would not be possible. Okay, let's see how much this shindig will cost me. Assault rifle. Uh, 1,000. Where the hell did that handle came from? Cycle complete. Okay. Well, it looks more like some sort of SMG, but yeah, I'm not gonna argue. Uh. We can increase the ammo capacity, and of course, I won't be able to afford to be damage upgrade, which would be the more important thing to get done. Have a united day. Have a united day? Who designed this? The Church of Unitology? I know that's that space, but I mean, come on. Uh. Okay. Oh, I'm not really sure if I'll have to test it out versus the robots. Or versus any of the infected. I want to explore here. Because exploration is usually rewarded. I already see like two magazines. I really wonder what would happen if you would just open the damn doors. Why the need to smash the glass? Eleven credits. That that's that's what I'm breaking the glass for. Ah, fudge. The hell is that noise? Yeah, I see something over there. I have no fucking idea what that is. It's literally where I need to go. For fuck's sake, it's one of those two-headed knuckleheads. Run. 
When he's doing that, that's where you run. Yeah, I might get something useful out of it. That's the only reason why I'm entertaining this. Yeah, God damn it. seriously have to melee this I'll have to melee this okay oh for fuck's sake come on you dodge you swing but you're not close enough do so you have to die because uh, uh my god, this game suffers from horrible boss encounters. I mean, god damn! At your service. <sighs> Usually I'm not like this, but god damn it. Uh, the reason why I'm taking the pistol ammo is because I'm hoping No, that, that's not what I'm telling you to do knucklehead I'm hoping That the alternate fire mode is gonna be able to help me out UJC printing for all your needs Okay, uh so I have to break the glass again? Well, at least there will be some health back for me, but... Great. One thing which I don't like about the assault rifle is that you don't shoot one round. It like fires a burst of three rounds. Burn through my magazine like ridiculously fast. And now uh, we're again at the dilemma of just not having enough. Okay, run! What the fuck was that? This idea just, start, just started, like, not running. I have no idea how the hell that happened. One more. I, I seriously have to melee this. I'm gonna hate this. The problem is... Like, the range. Because... When I try to move in... To melee attack this fucking thing... 
what happens is that it, it's like enough time has passed for it to be able to attack me. So uh, I call bullshit. I cannot believe I'll have to buy ammo for this crap, but if I get like a valuable thing out of it, I, I just might be able to maybe afterwards uh, sell it and uh, have some credits to spare. Definitely don't advise to be buying ammunition. I'm kind of eff it. I'm, I'm kind of desperate. So, so that upgrade is instead of 20 rounds, I have 25 rounds. God damn, that's impressive. You gotta be freaking kidding me, right? Uh, 241. You know what? Eff it. printing. Have a united day. How much was the upgrade for the magazine size? Okay, this, this is gonna drive me crazy now. Let's see. It's like two rounds of the alternate fire. Magazine. Run. Jacob, I gave you plenty of ammo for this fucking thing. Please don't tell me you've already used up all of it. some distance just the two of us you gotta be freaking kidding me That CPU printer better be worth like a grand or something. Please don't tell me now we're gonna draw a bunch of other infected on top of me. Okay. Unit online. Yeah, one grand. Okay, I still feel like I should maybe buy a magazine. Excellent choice. Or two. Cycle complete. Just so that I don't have to really rely on melee combat. Responsibly. For a while. Finished. Uh Yeah, uh, damage output for 1,500. That's cute. That is cute. Don't really have a full magazine, which is unfortunate. Uh, but we do have a lot of skunk shotgun shells. I just don't know if I'll be going against the robots or not. I would love to reach at least the doctor. Tactical pistol ammo. Not really my favorite choice of all the ammo I can get here, but. What was going on here? Better than being poked in the eye. What the hell? There's an infected. 
so we know that the cpu printer is worth a grand at least when we get it out of the highly infected ones the fuck man choice. every choice in your life has led you here to this place this Wait, were they moment. observing us but what choice will you damn make that's you? that's bad will you remain hey that's my cell I will choose to pick up this audio log. And then beat the shit out of this. Infected. Stop moving around. Okay, I think these are the data logs of uh, who? Observation log. Subject 324-980 exhibits an intriguing mix of characteristics, most notably an enhanced will to survive. Recommend extraction and induction into the program. So they were observing the inmates and choosing who gets infected well. will you sit the hell down you have to do that of course no no Knucklehead. Okay, can we somehow appreciate the fact that I have a full body suit of armor on and I'm still somehow able to slide the shiv underneath Whatever is protecting Jacob's hand. Like, who designs a bodysuit with a ship to be inserted underneath? That's some Fallout next level type of T60 armor. I mean, power armor. Goddamn. Okay, so what kind of a freaking nightmare is going to be waiting for me in here? How do I know? Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm. God damn it, I'm not even entertained by this combat system anymore. I, I just want to kind of get through this damn thing. So now that I know that you're just gonna do that bullshit. A uh, full fucking magazine. This thing is horrible. You gotta be kidding me. After all that ammunition. That is your idea where the second knucklehead came out of. You gotta be kidding me, that explosion did not manage to kill you.
Hand cannon. Riot. Haven't really used the riot shotgun too much lately. That's okay. Thank God for that explosive barrel because these suckers, they just know how to deplete your ammo. But that actually worked quite well. Goddamn, the alternate fire is actually impressing the living crap out of me right now. I mean, like. God damn! One round and that uh, late explosion was able to just like tear off the limbs from one another, and I was just able to one shot these freaks. The well, come meet me halfway, lady. Damn it! Try taking some of this heat off me. Yeah, I just had to make sure. Dude, if you're now gonna stand up. Bad stuff happened here. After I shot you. Not in the mood. Okay, this lady is gonna have to explain how the hell did she get past all this. What is one out of nine? Why, why is it now showing the ammunition in such a strange way? Okay, which one of you knuckleheads is gonna end up impaled? You are gonna end up? Great. Hey, so long as I get rid of these large dudes without actually having to shoot them, I'm all for it. That's a battery well used. Question is if I was able to kill him. Of course not. Come on, closer. And join your friends. God damn, this one got literally crucified. I can live with that. I have only two right shotgun shells. So I think I'll stick with the skunk gun. Explosive barrel is telling me something's gonna crawl out. So, yeah. Yeah, man. The flickering light, everything. I think they're trying for like some. Horror like atmosphere. Assault rifle ammo. And man, this thing is literally not impressing me. I was hoping for a whole lot more. And the fact that I cannot turn off the burst fire mode is actually quite disappointing. So right now, like, it seems that really what the greatest weapon can be is the secondary fire on this thing. Because the blatant explosion is turning the infected into mush. Oh, 
Okay. The fuck was that? Problem here is I I have like burned. Paranoia even from those tumors because they can have that ejecting head. Inside of them, which can damage you, and they usually never drop anything. It's like popping the most weirdest, freakiest, ugliest zit you can find. Man, I did not see you there, honestly. No, you won't. No mutations. No evolutions. Uh, th this is a Christian church or some BS. I, I don't know what to tell you. you. Just knock it off. A fuse is required. You gotta be freaking kidding me. And where exactly is this fuse meant to be? Wait, this is where I came from. Am I missing something or am I missing something? Okay. A fuse is required. This guy is not even properly glued to the ceiling, goddammit. And I cannot get back up. So if I was meant to pick up some fuse up there, I'm kind of effed. Ah, uh, okay. I see it now. Oh, please don't tell me. Fuck. And I'm just following. Moving forward, Jacob. Where the hell are you, lady? You must go faster. Just hang on. I'm coming. There's gonna be that invisible thing which I haven't seen in a while. What is that noise? I don't know. I guess that is gonna be this invisible thing. I mean, I just literally guessed. The, the thing is, I honestly have zero freaking idea where to even go to. There's spikes, there's stairs. Stairs have audio log. Hurry, Jacob. We're running out of time. Yeah, well, give me a timer then. Observation log. Subject 324-980 exhibits an intriguing mix of characteristics. Most notably, an enhanced will to survive. Recommend extraction and... After two weeks in the program, subject 324-980 exhibits remarkable physical enhancements. 
though his mental state is deteriorating rapidly. Flag the subject for Mahler. Maybe this will help get Cole off our backs. Okay. One thing which I don't like about these assault rifle is that it literally has no stopping power. Like, it, it's effective at range, but you, you need a shotgun variant in order to prevent the infected to close in the distance and get towards you. Wait, hold on. Did I fucking pick up the fuse or what the hell just happened? Why did I go here if there's no fuse? Fuse or no fuse? There we go. It's now gonna trigger some bullshit. Jump scare. Something. Come yeah, on, surprise me game. You're nearly here. Just keep moving. It's easy for you to say. I'm literally walking through. I don't even want to describe it. Okay. Wait, so I opened the two cages and there's literally nothing inside. Then what's the point of giving me these things in here? I'm confused. The choice is yours. Uh I know what fuck it, I'm a sucker for punishment. Let's upgrade the damage on this thing. Even though it's absolutely laughable how little this is gonna do anything. Executing. But like I cannot really get the full upgrade for any of these weapons to get them to the 2700 credits range. And the stability. Nice. Homing round. Wow. Well, this would upgrade the st uh, stability completely. I have zero idea what would be installed. Uh, but 4,500. That's, uh, yowza. Uh, that, that's a lot of cheddar. Fortunately, this will be the only upgrade. Uh, I really don't want to be using one of the med kits for the amount of health I'm missing. Uh, why does the floor need to make that weird wet noise? So, so strange. Yeah, I want to see if the damage output is now going to be slightly better, but... Uh, a skunk shotgun... It's a safety choice, I guess. Yeah, I want to run into some cutscene or some actual checkpoint. Please don't let there be larvae. Now, what the hell did I just tell you to not give me? Like, I'm not asking for a freaking gold bar or something. Okay, there's a box with some ammo, but I cannot get it through here.
<laughs> well, holy shit, the damage upgrade actually did something. Okay, I'm guessing you want me to toss the infected into these weird ass turbines? Because why in the world would you give me so many of them in here anyhow, right? I... Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Wolf. The hell is this? Okay, look at all these spikes. How much company am I to expect in here? You know, because this is not... Oh, for fuck's sake. Not you. I don't have the ammo for this shit. And I don't think I can use the stasis in order to pull in the sucker and... Yeah. Nope. Are you fucking kidding me? How was he able to reach me? Explain. moment there I could have sworn I saw another one Tactical pistol. Uh, that's not the basic ammo. So I cannot use the secondary explosives. Come on. Climb over you knucklehead! I think we have another infected. Okay, well, I can deal with the second one just by tossing it against the freaking spikes. Climb! Freaking. Dumbass. Run! Run, you freaking knucklehead. Okay. I will have to... Now, utilize the med kit. Go fuck. Wait, I saw the... Where the god? That that's that's the entire boss battle. You you run around in a circle. 
and uh, you run around in a circle. I'm not impressed. I'm not happy. Uh, yeah, just no. Come on, let me get to the freaking doctor for Christ's sake, or you know what? Uh, I think this is where we're gonna call it off. Uh, what was I expecting? Chocolate truffles? Oh, uh, so yeah, uh, I was able to survive. Another set of encounters. I did die a bunch of times unnecessarily, yes, but um, Yeah, first time playing this so what can I tell you? So hopefully on the next one We're gonna be able to find out what the hell happened to the girl when she French kissed that larvae and Why the hell is the larvae in these loot crates so much larger than the one in those? ampules or tubes or whatever uh, is the word for it so yeah if, if you want to see if i will be willing to play this again <laughs> then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next episode is uploaded onto the channel oh man this this was <laughs> this is getting trickier and trickier ah man fun stuff fun stuff